Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. I uh, just wanted to follow up a little bit on patch points in Cakewalk Sonar. I went ahead and set up a project here just to kind of showcase a little bit. What I've done is I've started with Addictive Drums 2. And just to show you, I've got everything set up as normal. It's just kind of a default kit. Uh, dragged one of the MIDI beats into here. And the only thing that I changed was on the kick drum, instead of the default master, I set that to separate out pre-fader and master. The reason I did that is because I'm going to be using that as a trigger for sidechain compression. Okay, so once I did that, the next thing I did was I inserted another track to receive that audio. So you can see the input is getting from addictive drums. Uh, actually just kick. I don't even need that, that snare in there. And so it takes that uh, kick signal and it's sending it. The output's going to be a compressor, the side input of a compressor. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. The next thing I did was I set up this folder and I've got in there, I just used Zeta Plus 2 for um, kind of a bass sound. And with that bass sound, I created a couple of things. First is I created this aux track, um, called it high pass, and I'm sending the output to there. So if you look at this, on my EQ, I've got a pretty steep slope, and I'm cutting it off about 200, and I'll show you why in just a second here. Um, and then the other thing I did with this synth bass part was, I created a send and I sent it to another aux track called low pass comp. So high pass comp, I had everything cut off below. Low pass comp, I've got everything cut off above about 200. And what I'm gonna do with that then is just compress that low signal. So I'm gonna let the high signal come through on that bass, um, kind of the nice, interesting stuff up in the high frequencies. But to make room for the kick drum, or for the, yeah, for the kick drum, I'm going to cut out that um, low frequency piece using the compressor. Okay, so just to let you hear what that sounds like. Whoops. Okay, so that's what it sounds like all together. But if I turn this down just to listen to the bass. If you listen carefully, you can hear that the top end is still present, it's still the same, but the low end is kind of pumping along with the kick signal. Okay, so where did I get the 200? Why am I using that as my cutoff point? Well, if I look at this kick track, I call it kick snare, but it is a kick track. Uh, I could even call it kick trigger, but if I look at that with the EQ, can't hear it but you can see that most of the kick drum signal is below about 200 so I could have even gone down to 150 but I went with 200 okay so now if you want to just listen to just a low piece of it right you can really hear that there's a high piece. Right. So of course it depends on the synth, but um, some things are going to be more interesting up in the higher frequencies, maybe more of an attack. Um, but and then just to show you the compression. Right. Anytime you put this Sonias compressor on there, it's going to have the side chain input available that I used up here on this kick trigger track. Um, I set the ratio to pretty good, 8.3, somewhere around eight. And I had a little bit of an E on it. But then you can see I had a pretty quick attack, but uh, kind of a medium release there. So if I play with that, Right, that makes it even more obvious. 
threshold I can take this up or I can take it way down so then when I mix in the highs well they're in there already maybe take that up a little bit Now the other thing that you can do, because this is an aux track, both of these, I could now take another bass part. Maybe I'll have something going at the same time. Maybe I want to compress something else to make more room for the kick. So I'll just drag in this acoustic bass. Let's see what that sounds like. See how that has so much clickiness and fun stuff up in the upper register? But I'm going to do the same thing as I did up here with the Zeta. I'm going to take my first output to the high pass. And then I'm going to insert a send and take that to the low pass compressed. Okay, so now. kind of hear that pumping still, right? But it leaves all that nice upper register stuff. Okay, so together. that's not mixed at all but that kind of makes a little bit of extra space for the kick drum there and then again uh, because these are aux tracks so if I wanted to as opposed to buses where you can't record anything on these aux tracks up here the nice thing is you can record something so So then if you wanted to solo one of those, there you've got the high piece, and there you've got that side chain low piece. So uh, just something to give you some ideas to work with. Hopefully you can use this and, and change it and evolve it and make it your own. Have a great day. If you have any questions, leave a comment or a question below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.